Let D be equal to this 3 by 3 matrix. Find adj D and hence find D inverse. In order to do this, I need to know what adj D is. Well, adj D stands for the adjoint of D, which is a new 3 by 3 matrix, and it takes a little while to calculate it from D. And the first step is to calculate the matrix of minors. The matrix of minors is a 3 by 3 matrix. It's the same size as D. And in it, we put all of those 2 by 2 determinants that we would use to calculate the determinant of D. So what we do is this. We go back to D and we begin by looking at an entry of D. And we cross out the row and column that it is in. And we find the determinant of the resulting matrix. So the determinant of this matrix is 2 times 1 minus minus 1 times 3, which is 5. And I put the answer 5 in the matching position of the matrix of minors. Like that. And then I move on to the next entry of D. So I'll move on to this entry. And the answer will go into the matching position of the matrix of minors. I cross out the row and column that I'm in and I find the determinant of the resulting matrix. So 1 times 1 is 1, minus 1 times 3 gives me negative 2. And I'll continue in this way. Feel free to fast forward if you like. So I'll move on to this entry and the minor I get will go in a matching position of the matrix of minors. I cross out the row and column that I'm in and I find the matrix of the determinant of what's left. 1 times minus 1 minus 1 times 2 is negative 3. And now I move on to this next entry and the minor will go in the matching position of the matrix of minors. I cross out the row and column that I'm in and calculate the determinant of what's left. So 1 times 1 Minus minus 1 times 1 is 2. I move on to the next entry and the next entry of the matrix of minors. I cross out the row and column that I'm in and calculate the determinant of what's left. 2 times 1 minus 1 times 1 will give me 1. And now I move on to this entry and I look at the matching entry of the matrix of minors. I cross out the row and column that I'm in and I calculate the determinant of what's left. 2 times minus 1 minus 1 times 1 would be minus 3. And now I move on to the next entry of D and the minor will go in the next entry of the matrix of minors. I cross out the row and column that I'm in and calculate the determinant of what's left. 1 times 3 minus 2 times 1 would be 1. And I move on to the next entry of D and the minor will go in the matching position of the matrix of minors. I cross out the column and row that I'm in and calculate the determinant of what's left. 2 times 3 minus 1 times 1 is 5. And finally, I move on to the last entry of D, and the minor will go in the matching entry of the matrix of minors. I cross out the row and column that I'm in and calculate the determinant of what's left, which is 2 times 2 minus 1 times 1, which is 3. So I've finally found the matrix of minors. The next step is to find the matrix of cofactors. And it's a 3x3 three three matrix as well. And I get it from the matrix of minors. So let me copy the matrix of minors in. Now what I do to the matrix of minors is I add extra plus or minus signs. And these would be the plus or minus signs that I would use to calculate the determinant. So I begin in the top left hand corner with a plus. 
and then I move one entry at a time and every time I change entries I change signs. So I begin with a plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. And so my matrix of cofactors is equal to plus 5, minus, minus 2, plus, minus 3, minus 2, plus 1, minus, minus 3, plus 1, minus 5, plus 3. And finally, the adjoint I get from the matrix of cofactors by doing the transpose. So the adjoint of D will be the transpose of the matrix of cofactors. So that means the rows of the matrix of cofactors become the columns of the adjoint. So 5, 2, minus 3 goes here. And minus 2, 1, 3 goes here. And 1, minus 5, 3 goes here. So that's the adjoint. Next, we need to find the inverse. And to do that, I'll need a new page. To find the determinant, I need to use a property of the adjoint. And this is the property of the adjoint that I know. This is what adjoints do. D times the adjoint of D is the determinant of D times the identity. And what that means is that I get a 3x3 three three matrix and it's got the determinant of D on the diagonals and zeros everywhere else. That's what it means to be the determinant of D times the identity. Well, the inverse would be a matrix that I put here to get just the identity. So if I divide both sides by the determinant of D, I'll get this. 1 over the determinant of D times the adjoint of D, and that will be the inverse. So therefore, D inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of D times the adjoint of D. So what I need to do is calculate the determinant of D, and then I'll be able to find the inverse, because I know the adjoint already. So the determinant of D, well, to calculate that, I would go back to my matrix D, and I would put 2, minus 1, and 1. 2, minus 1, and 1. And I'd multiply each of these by a 2 by 2 determinant. And these 2 by 2 determinants I would get by looking at the position I'm in, crossing out the row and column that I'm in, and calculating the determinant of what's left. But I already did all of that to find the matrix of minors. So this determinant is just here. It's 5. And so I need the 5 and the minus 2 and the minus 3 to do my determinant. So if I go back here, I don't need these determinants. Go 5 and minus 2 and minus 3. And that comes out to 10 plus 2 minus 3, which is 9. So therefore, D inverse is equal to 1 over 9 times the adjoint, which was 5 minus 2, 1. 2, 1, minus 5, minus 3, 3, 3.